Hello, do you hear me? Am I audible? Thank you. So yeah, anyone who wants to share anything or like uh, tell us uh, how, where are where are you in the project? Um, your this week, and if you have any blockers, please go ahead. Okay, back. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So, uh, I have actually, I was actually trying to uh, build the bar rug, but uh, I have one or two problems. But uh, like, I'm still trying to figure out how to uh, evaluate so i'm actually trying to use uh, the prompt uh, uh, evaluator that was given as opposed to rank so hopefully i will fix that today so i had uh, a, a huge power out yesterday so i wasn't able to do uh, much I just have, I just had a power today, like how I need to have a cafe for this conversation. So uh, I'm actually trying to figure out those things. So if I can, I can, I will be building the back end and the front end once the evaluation is over. Okay. Uh, great. Thank you for, for sharing. So you're facing technical issues just before because of like the power outage, nothing and um, no particular blocker that you can that you need help with. All right. Uh, I didn't. I didn't hear what this is. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So sorry. I just said like I just um, confirmed that. Are you facing any blockers or is it just like the power outage that was like delayed your your work? Uh, yeah, the power outage is one of the things that delayed my work. Uh, also, like the getting to work with the evaluation part was a difficult one, made it more difficult. I see. Okay. Um, so you are facing a particular problem with the evaluation? Okay. Meanwhile, anyone else who want to look at any? Okay, Abraham? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm doing great uh, about my progress. I have actually uh, generated some prompts uh, and I'm trying to evaluate uh, today uh, those prompts. But uh, I was wondering, uh, have any, uh, what do you guys are using for uh, for a knowledge base for the prompt? Just down of compression. Anyone okay. could? All right. Uh, okay, thank you, Abraham. So, anyone who wants to like answer Abraham Milako, is that uh, an answer for for Abraham, or do you want to share? Uh, it's not an answer actually. Okay. So go ahead. Though. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sorry about my voice. It's I'm a bit under the weather this week. Uh, so mm -hmm. my progress on the project is uh, I try to work on task two task to which is design and develop the prompt generation system so I tried to generating some prompts and I implemented evaluation and I I, tr I tried prompt testing with uh, Monte Carlo matchmaking and I tried to rate the prompts that was generated and moreover I, I tried to build a front end using streamlit uh, my blocker is uh 
I'm a bit confused about how we're supposed to use the uh, repo uh, above shared the the fabric repo. So how are we supposed to use that in our project? I'm a bit confused about that. Yeah, I think that's the only broker I have so far. Okay, so uh, thank you, Milako, and I hope you get better soon. But okay, so about Fabric, the repo that um, I think it was suggested by one of you actually, but all right. Uh, so, so Fabric is has like uh, patterns, it's uh, like um, examples of prompts that one can use, and you can basically, these are prompts that are like, like prepared and uh, presumably they tested them as well. So you can use them in your, um, like this is also part of the answer to Abraham. You can use them as like um, ready to use prompts basically. Like you can store them in your database and when you, instead of generating completely new prompts, you can use those. These are like prompts that you don't need to generate yourself and you don't need to really test. Um, you can use them like a, you can put them in like a vector database and when a, a, a user is asking for a particular prompt, you can search the database you have already, um, like using um, a similarity search or something like that to, to, to like, um, so you, you can like enrich your, like already, if you have generated your own prompt, you can enrich your prompts using prompts from Fabric. It does, like, this is, is that clear to you, Milako? Yeah, yeah, okay. I think it's clear. Uh, okay. Um, also, uh, so I think uh, people are answering, Abraham. Um, so yeah, I, I just know about Fabric. I don't know if anyone else sourced from a different uh, place. So please, if you, um, if you have like, we have an answer, Abraham question. Uh, Gitacho is saying, uh, I have generated prompts using the given starter code and I am trying to go for evaluation today. Good. Um, thank you, Gitacho. So anyone else? I'm not seeing any. Um, okay, Abdurrahman. Okay, good morning. Uh, I started uh, working on uh, Ragbart. Uh, I waste uh, most of time on uh, building a function that can uh, iterate through the the patterns folders to extract all the .md files. Uh, it works now, but not I as wanted. Uh, and uh, I'm embedding. Uh, I embed uh, some of those uh, .md files. So I will try to, to retrieve uh, a prompt uh, today. OK, great. Uh, you sound frustrated that it, it took so, you so much time, but um, I hope it works. OK. Are you facing any particular blocker or uh, other uh, Until now, uh, thankfully, until now, I don't have any blockers. But uh, I feel I will face them when I came to to evaluation board. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for sharing. That's very good. We here, and yeah. Uh, so I don't know if there was any other way to get the um, the prompts from Fabric. Is it like uh, um, you need to like scrap them? Is that the only way? Uh, I wonder if someone else tried something different. It would be nice to hear from other people. So anyone else who want to share, like, um, let me see. Uh, so we have 15 minutes. Uh, all right, Milako, go ahead. Uh, actually, forgot to ask you something. Uh, I was wondering how we are supposed to implement RAG in our, in, in our project. So where exactly is RAG supposed to, you know, what exactly would RAG do in our project? I wanted to know that too. Thank okay. You. Yes. Uh, so this was like um, discussed at length maybe before. Uh, so um, the RAG 
Okay, so it, it can be confusing. And um, so one of these, like what we were talking about just now, the one about like if you are using ready to use prompts that you are collecting from Fabric or somewhere else, you can store all of these in a vector database and basically build the rack system that will like uh, when you take your user um, query, your user, the user like a request for a prompt, you can take that one and retrieve from your vector database uh, a sim like a, a prompt that is like um, um, similar to or cl the closest to what they what they want basically. So th this is what what the rack system will be doing. You are building the rack system for yourself that like you store your prompts and um, and retrieve them like. Uh, uh, when um, depending on the user request, so that one one use case. Another thing is that like um, uh, you can build an access because like some of the prompts you might be um, how say um, I hope that like uh, okay. Let, let me just say uh, the first explanation. Does that make sense to you, Milako? This first use. I wanted to say something more, but let, let me check that you you get what I'm saying. Yeah, the first one is clear. Okay. The other thing that you can is another use or like the other um, value you can get from building a, a rack a system is that you can test as well that if you are building any. Uh, yeah, I'm just like a time to think about how how to phrase this. Um, actually, also like uh, we can hear if if anyone else want to like uh, jump in to 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 tell us like what they think about this. But yeah, what what you can do as well is that like when you you some of the. Uh, Okay, you're building a, a service or like three services, one that will provide prompts, one that will provide uh, the data, uh, testing data, evaluation data, and um, another one that for, for evaluating prompts as well. So in, in lieu of all of these three, three like things that you want to do, it, it will come handy that to test some of the prompts so you might need to test them as like part of a rack so it's uh it's not just like because the prompts themselves are yeah like they are requested to be to be are going to be used as part of a rack so that you want to when you want to test them you want to test them within a, a rack system so again you're building the rack system for yourself for your use um so you will store your prompts, you can store your prompts in a vector database. You can be also storing uh, some, let's say, test data. Uh, like you see your own data, or like uh, this example, or like um, the data that uh, you want to use for your own testing. So that's where um, I see the use of the RAG in this, in this project. Does that make sense to you, Miracle? Yes, thank you. OK, great. Uh, so all right um so i like the like who everyone is participating is 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 i mean um okay Bethlehem is asking can you give us uh, a clear difference between fine tuning and rag Okay, yeah, definitely. So fine tuning, uh, fine tuning an LLM. I suppose you are asking. When you fine tune an LLM, you are trying to um, you take an actual the, the whole model, the model with it's uh, the model that is uh, of course the, the model is made. Of, but, uh, sorry, sorry, like I am. Uh, <clears throat> give me one moment. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so um, when you fine tune a model, an LLM, you are tinkering, you are changing its parameters. So the model is made of like uh, uh, many layers, uh, many uh, neural network layers, right? Um, and they are like have weights. And yes, this is uh, the LLM that's a, is, is a generative model that you like um, send a prompt to and it will generate something for you. And you're trying to modify this LLM, okay? The rag is a different thing. The rag doesn't touch the LLM itself. The LLM is, far, is the same, you don't touch it. You, uh, and that's why like, uh, for example, this week we are using open AI models because open AI models are closed. They are not, they are not free. You cannot get the model itself to tinker with at all. You can just send a prompt to it and get an answer using the open AI uh, API. Okay, so you you can you cannot fine tune an open AI model yourself because it's not available, but you can use it just as is. The rag is not about modifying the LLM. The rag is about modifying the prompt. The prompt you send to the LLM can be modified in many ways. This is what prompt engineering is about, and uh, because like the and and the idea comes from like because. Um, the performance of the LLM is based uh, like in part, of course, on, on the LLM itself, but there is a part that is controlled by the prompt. So um, so basically they use the particular, so RAG is one particular kind of, of prompt engineering. And what it does is that in your prompt, you can provide a context. Like you can tell like answer to, for example, you can ask the, the LLM to answer answer this question based on the context I am I'm appending to this prompt, okay? And the rag is just basically about how you can provide this context. So you build this system. Let's can we just actually uh, look at an actual um, workflow so that you can can see this visually. Um, I am not finding something useful here, but anyway, the RAG system is that you have this database, vector database, and a retriever, and the and the goal or the the goal of having this retriever database a retriever is that you put your, your information that you want to add to the prompt in a database, and the retriever is the system that will, depending on your your like uh, the first part of your prompt, the query, it will take that and fetch the, the, the relevant context, add it to your prompt. So it's you modifying your prompts for you, or you actually like you're building it, so you're modifying your prompt in this way, and then you send that to the LLM. So tell me, but how many people do this makes, um, if this answer your questions, or if you got this. Uh, but the how? Uh, okay, great. Uh, so, all right. Um, anyone else? Let's get the two people participating. Uh, anyone? Um, Johannes, Wandra, Temeskin, Salmawet, Niamusi, Mister. Yeah, all of you are on this call, but you are not saying or writing anything. Do you have like you can say like everything is great, uh, everything is perfect. Um, Okay, Johannes. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so for the progress, I think uh, I'm making a good progress, uh, but I'm a little confused about uh, prompt ranking. Uh, I started reading on it this morning. Yeah, that's the only part uh, I'm confused about. Okay. So like, what are you not getting about it? I don't think I understood the concept very well. Like I'm still trying to read about it. I actually started uh, reading about prompt ranking, ranking this morning. Maybe that's the reason. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, just like uh, you're not asking a particular question, but like uh, if 
uh, I can say just in short, is that uh, if you, for a particular task, like if you want to like write, you want to write a prompt for a particular task, or you have multiple candidates for a prompt. So let's say you want to write a prompt to, uh, to write an article for you, okay, about, like just, uh, you want to have a generic a prompt that will generate great articles. You want to write a prompt for on that creativity or any model, so that it will write you a good article. And you are, you have multiple candidates. Maybe you wrote them yourself. Maybe you got them from an LLM, actually. You ask, you go into ChatGPT and ask it, like, write me a prompt to write an art to uh, to write an article and chat gbt writes provided for you maybe some examples of the prompt okay anyway you start in the when you are doing before you do prompt ranking you have multiple candidates for a prompt to do a particular task okay let's say in my example today it's about writing article and you you have for, for that you provide um uh, test cases so you say like an, uh, uh, writing me an article on I don't know the history of um, World War II, uh, and then you provide an example and uh, and you provide multiple scenarios like that, okay? And like you give like the scenario and the answer you want to get from the LLM that you, is good. You can actually also again generate those two through an LLM, and um, and what you do in in prompt ranking is that because you have multiple candidates for the prompt and you want to see the goal of prompt ranking is that you want to see which prompt is good which one is better is the best among them so you go through um, a, a process of prompt scoring and prompt ranking so basically it's some kind of a test to to score each prompt how it performs and then rank them in that sense so this one kind of prompt ranking i'm not sure if it's is this what? Uh, uh, yes, like I understood yes. the general concept of it, but yeah. I'm confused about how to exactly implement it. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So there are multiple ways to the multiple approaches to uh, to go about this. So yeah, maybe it depends on what kind of approach you can take. You can use uh, together. You can use like Monte Carlo matchmaking and LO ranking. There are other ways to rank as well, like uh, other systems to rank. There are other ways also to evaluate. You can just choose to evaluate each prompt on a test uh, test data, and then just uh, like uh, looking at the score, the evaluation score of each prompt, just choose the one with the highest, and that will be like your ranking. Um, okay, but anyway, so if you don't have a particular question, let's go to, uh, is that, um, do you have a particular question about this? Okay, I suppose, all right. Uh, Wanda? Uh, good morning, everyone. I wanted to ask uh, about uh, evaluation. Are we evaluating, like, uh, the pipeline and the data set at the same time? Is that what we're, we're supposed to do? I'm sorry, Wanda, I missed, I missed it. What, can you say it again? Can you say a question? Uh, when it comes to evaluate the evaluation, huh? are we evaluating the pipeline, like the rug pipeline, and also like uh, a, a, like a, a data set or like some data? Like, uh, is that what the whole evaluation thing is about? Like evaluating, are we evaluating like a data set? Because like, based on what I've been reading, uh, this there is like, um, uh, like uh, the components, which is like retrieving and then the generative part. So that means we have, do we have to evaluate the, the, our pipeline? And also then we also evaluate like, let me say a sample of the data. Uh, okay. So yes, uh, um, okay. So in evaluation, you can evaluate, you are building actually, uh, you should, uh, so your service is about providing prompts. But you might build a rag system yourself to store your, the prompts that you created, um, the, all these, or the prompts that you collected, the prompts that you think are good and can be like, you can give them to the user. 
um, you can store that on the database and build the rack system. And yes, when you build this rack system, you can evaluate your whole rack and how, how it works. So you can use ragas to evaluate the retriever, your retriever and your generative part of the rack. Uh, in this way. Another thing that you want to evaluate is prompts. So uh, actually, like one of the things, uh, one of the three components that you want to provide is for users to ask you to generate or to give them a test, uh, test cases. So you want to generate them evaluation data and also just evaluate for them the prompts. So, uh, so part, so you will do when you build your rack system for for storing prompts and give them back, giving them to to the user upon upon request, you can you test your the the performance of your rag, and also you have to evaluate prompts. So in evaluating the prompts, it it means that you can generate a, a test case and then test the performance of of the prompts on these test cases and calculate like uh, either like uh, the execution accuracy or um, maybe the log probability one of the scores that you can measure um on the on this prompt it, does this like uh, is this um, is this answer your question or is it still confusing uh still a bit uh, i'm still a bit confused okay so what is like ask me a question so I, yeah yeah on the like uh, when it comes to evaluating the so uh, okay for, for the instance of the project uh, we're evaluating prompts not the not the pipeline or both you are you you can you are doing both basically so the thing is that you uh, with one of them you are going to do once so you evaluate your rag because you are building a rag to to provide the service you're going to be building a rag so this part is like let's say it's internal for you this rag is for you and you're going to test it once at least evaluate it just once okay but when it comes to actually the components your pro the services you are providing for your uh, customers is you are providing a service of evaluating prompts so you need to like part of it you need to create um test cases or uh, test uh, database uh, sorry what's the database evaluation data set and also evaluating prompts so this is like the evaluating prompts is something that you are you are going to do upon request from your users but uh, the evaluation of the rag is so, because you are building a rag to to provide the prompts so you are, you want to evaluate that once to see if it works well is this does this clarify it yes okay okay uh, so thank you anyone and for everyone who participated any final uh like any any final question or um or just like uh, something to share Let's see. Okay, uh, so the anyone who wants to say anything, um, okay. Um, yeah, so it's uh, this is week seven. We are like half more than halfway through the technical training. You already know the importance of the standard, so I'm not gonna push you <laughs> anymore. Yeah, so let's end the session here. And um, yeah, so have a great Friday and good luck with your work. And if anyone have a problem, of course, you can share on Slack after. Okay.